Hi, I'm Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I'm here with my top favorite nail polishes from 2022. So I try to do one of these every year and honestly, every year it gets harder and harder because there's just so many gorgeous nail polishes that come out each and every year. I really tried to do my best um, and pick a good selection of polishes that really captured my heart, but there's even more beyond this list. One thing I will note is that unfortunately, most of the polishes, if I keep looking over, it's because I have them on my desk, but um, most of the nail polishes that are in my top list this year are unfortunately no longer available. Um, some of them might be, but most of them are limited editions that were available through the polish pickup or some other limited edition format. And I was gonna try to keep it to 10, but honestly, I just picked the polishes that I love. Grab yourself something to drink and cozy up, and I guess we should just get into it. Okay, I'm gonna start with Bees Knees Lacquer, and I am going to preface this by saying that probably every polish they made this year could be on this list. If I had to do like a top five for this year, it would be in the top five. So that one is called You're Not That Weird. First of all, absolutely love the name. Second of all, it's a ghostly polish and everybody knows that I am like the ghostly polish girl. I love ghostly polishes. This one, honestly, in some angles, it looks like you're not wearing nail polish at all. And then at other angles, you get this super intense blue glow that shifts to purple. It's absolutely stunning. This looks so good with any topper over it. I bought a backup bottle. Um, honestly, I'm super happy that I own this polish and I think it's super beautiful and it's really special to me. So the next polish that I want to include in this list is from Cuticula and it's called Stargaze from their Under the Stars collection. And this one is very beautiful. I'm going to use that word a lot, but it just has a really rich sort of blue teal base with a rainbow of shimmer shifts like purple, gold, green, blue again. It's just incredibly beautiful. There is scattered hollow in there. It's just a really good formula. I love cuticula and I guess it sort of could belong in this video, but the cuticula limitless top coat is my number one top coat right now. So shout out to cuticula for having incredible top coats. I love their bases as well. I even love their cuticle oil. I really just love the brand and Amanda is a genuine sweetheart. And this polish to me stands out as just being so shifty, so beautiful, so deep. So now I will move on to Girly Bits and Girly Bits is consistently one of my favorite brands. I mean, they are one of my favorite brands and Pam hasn't been putting out as much polish lately but every time she does, she just knocks it out of the park. So this year was no exception. I struggled to narrow it down, but the two polishes from Girly Bits that I love so much, I'll start with the first one, what happens in Vegas ends up on TikTok. So I don't know if this is available still. It might be, there is a small chance it's still available. I know it is a limited edition, but this polish, I think there's, it holds some sort of nostalgic value to me. So I have been wearing indie nail polish since about 2012 or 2013. And Girly Bits always did these um, sort of like beauty convention polishes to commemorate the event. There was what happens in Vegas ends up on Facebook. What happens in Vegas ends up on Instagram. I think there was a Twitter one. Anyway, this one is, so beautiful it kind of reminds me in a way of polishes that i fell in love with back in 2012 2013 just glitter and iridescent flakes and glitters like they were sort of the main ingredient back then and this polish is like a 2022 version of one of those old school indie polishes and i just think it's super beautiful the next polish from girly bits that stole my heart. It's called Petty Set Go. And this polish is like glowy. Like when I say it's glowy, I mean it with a million exclamation marks. This one glows like nobody's business. Um, I wore it, I think I wore it a couple weeks ago and it's like the perfect Christmas polish. It's the perfect summer polish because the red also kind of leans a bit coral. There's so much shimmer in this and 
as I'm looking at it, it's also a bit on the sheer side. So like one Manny uses up a decent amount and I think I need a backup. So hopefully it's still available because I need another bottle. That's how much I love it. Glistening Glow. Glistening Glow is another great brand that has been around, I wanna say time immemorial, but like since the beginning of the Indie Nail Polish days, the Seven Days of Surprises had some really beautiful polishes in it. And the one that I loved so much was called Hooray for Today. It's a beautiful purple, as you can see, there's hollow flakes in there. It's just, it's kind of simple, but there's something about it that's really striking to me. Maybe it's the shade of purple. I don't know, but I love this polish, love the formula, and I just love it. It deserves to be in this list. Next up, I have a polish from Great Lakes Lacquer, which um, very recently came out. It came out just a couple weeks ago. It's called There's Nowhere You Could Go That I Won't Be With You, and this is the most beautiful, most glowy purple nail polish of all time. It's just such a beautiful polish. It has an incredible formula. It's super glowy. I just love everything about it. And if you love purples or anything with that really intense blue glow, I definitely recommend picking this one up. It is still available, so you can get your hands on it. I think I must be feeling a bit um, nostalgic for like the early days of my nail polish obsession or something because um, the next pick I have is from Kathleen and Co and it's called In My Mind. And this was also very recently released and it should still be available. This one I mentioned in my swatch video how it kind of reminded me of a nail polish from my early days of the obsession. Um, it's actually an enchanted polish that it reminds me of and it just has such a good formula. It's purple again has incredible shifts to it, gorgeous um, holographic to it. And if you love purples, then hopefully you can pick this one up still because it is truly gorgeous. So the one from KB Shimmer that stood out to me the most this year was Flip Out. It has such a good formula. It is so summery. Like to me, this is summer in a bottle. Um, it just kind of makes you go wow because it's totally unique. It's so bright. The shimmer is this beautiful sort of contrasting golden green shift to it. And this also, and I feel like the name is a bit of a pun and a play on another old nail polish that sort of had everybody in a frenzy called Flip Flop Fantasy from China Glaze, the original formula, because they changed the formula and the color. But this kind of is like Flip Flop Fantasy on steroids and even better. So. I love that polish and this one is definitely still available so if you like it you can definitely pick it up and maybe you're gonna go on vacation soon or maybe you can just save it for the summer or wear it in January when you have the winter blues and want it to feel like summer on your fingertips. Oh, Paint It Pretty Polish. I love this brand so much and um, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anybody that I've got three other polishes here in my top 2020 was it 2020? Yeah, it's 2020. My top polishes of 2020 video. So this one is called With a Cherry on Top and it's from the Polish Pickup from January. This polish is one of my all-time favorite nail polishes, period. It's like just so beautiful. I mean, I'm a pink girl at heart. This polish has flakes, which I love so much. They're so shifty. They're so beautiful. It's like a jelly base. The pink is super intense. It kind of almost looks red. It's just a stunning polish and I am in love with it. I also love the inspiration, which is the cherry dipping sauce from VH. I don't know if that's a Canadian thing, but I totally see that when I look at this nail polish. The next polish from Paint It Pretty is actually a topper and unfortunately, no longer available because this is one of their pretty polishes of the month. It was only available in February, but oh my goodness, just looking at this in the bottle, like this is honestly something that I should just have out on my dresser and just look at it or even on my desk and just look at it because it makes me happy just purely looking at it in the bottle. So, I mean, really, I don't even know what's going on in there. There's these like tiny, tiny, tiny blue glitters, I think, clear base, so many iridescent flakes but they're sort of like a blue shift to them it looks like a snow globe in a bottle and this looks 
ridiculous over darker colors. It also looks so good over lighter colors. Probably would put it over everything I wear on my nails, but I have to hold myself back. And the last Paint It Pretty polish that I have on my list is the October 2022 Pretty Polish of the Month. This is a thermal and it's kind of like a navy blue or deep purple and it goes to like a really pretty soft, almost orchidy pink lilac. So it's a really beautiful color shift with the thermal transition, but the flakes, again, I just love iridescent flakes. I love color shifting flakes. And this has all of the elements of a polish that I love so much, plus it's a thermal. So I am very happy to have this one in my collection. And I kind of been gravitating towards darker colors lately, but I love that this is a thermal. So it's dark when I'm cold, but then when I'm warm, it turns into a pink, which is like, surprise, yay. Um, it's just a fun way to freak people out sometimes because I have had people look at my hands and be like, did your nail polish just change color? And then I have to explain to them how thermal nail polishes work and they're fascinated, but it also just keeps me really happy and entertained as well. Next up, I have a polish from Painted Polish and everybody knows how much I love Painted Polish and their incredible formula, but Witchful Thinking is a standout to me this year because again, I have been gravitating towards just like black nails and this one, honestly, it might be, I think it's a black jelly, but it almost kind of comes off as like a really deep brown. There's gold holographic glitters in there, galaxy glitters, reflective glitter, and it's just so beautiful. I absolutely love this one. I think that it is still available, thankfully. So if you're into this look, which duh, why wouldn't you be? You can pick this one up. I, yeah, I'm completely in love with it. Now we're moving on to Polished for Days, which honestly, my dreams came true this year when Jenna started sending me polishes to swatch and share with you on my channel because Polish for Days is another epic, incredible, iconic brand. And I just love being able to share their polishes with you because I probably would have bought them anyway. So the ones that stand out to me the most are I had wings once with, let me try that again. I had wings once and this one has the most glowy flakes in it I've ever seen. I don't know what magic they're made of but they're incredible there's little tiny black flakes there's a beautiful violet sort of jelly base and it has such a good formula it looks so good glossy it looks so good matte it's like the perfect halloween polish and it's spooky it's beautiful and i just absolutely love it and i also absolutely love incandescent which is another recent polish that came out in their tis the season collection for the holidays this has an incredible formula. It looks like a Christmas tree on your nails and I'm gonna wear this all year round because it makes me super happy. It's like a rainbow of flakes in the bottle and yeah, I'm mesmerized by it, just looking at it. It's totally beautiful and I'm just a huge fan of the way that Polish for Days uses flakes in their polishes. Jenna does such a good job. I could have had every one of their polishes on this list, but I had to be very critical and these two are definitely my favorite. From Rogue Lacquer, uh, Rachel, again, another maker that's been around for so long and been doing the most and making the best polishes. So I narrowed it down to one from Rogue Lacquer and it's called Creative Chaos. This one should still be available, so thank goodness. This one works as a topper. It's absolutely stunning when you wear it on its own and you build it up. I especially love it with my short nails. They just look super beautiful and happy when I wear this. It looks super good matte, it looks super good glossy, and it truly is like a rainbow of iridescent flakes. So Creative Chaos is definitely one of my top polishes as well. Like if I had to narrow this down, there was no way this polish wasn't going to be in my top list. So I super duper love this one. We're almost to the end. So I have Sassy Sauce, Don't Ruffle My Truffles. This is another rainbow in a bottle. It's very ethereal. It has iridescent flakes. I mean, if we did a little cross section of this collection, I think at least half of them have iridescent flakes. I'm just a sucker for that finish. 
and this could be used as a topper once again. I love double duty polishes, but I especially love this one built up on its own. I just think there's something really magical about it. It's very wintry. And last but not least, we have Wildflower Lacquer. So Wildflower Lacquer put out a Casey Musgraves inspired collection. I'll link it in the cards. Yes, I do cover a Casey Musgraves song in that video, playing guitar and singing. Um, it's one of my proudest moments of the past year. Let's talk about the nail polishes. So Mind Your Own Biscuits and Life Will Be Gravy is one of my favorite pinks of all time. I think I've actually got a few polishes that sort of fall into that pink coral red category. This one is definitely one of them. It is so glowy and intense. I wore this for a week and I will say that Wildflower Lacquer polishes, especially their shimmers, wear like iron on me, they will not budge. So this one I wore for a week or more, no tip wear, no chipping, absolutely nothing. Such a good formula, such a gorgeous color. Even when I came to take it off, I could have left it on because I still loved seeing it on my hands every time I looked at them. And last but certainly not least, I have also from the Casey Musgraves collection, Slow Burn, and this is just like, rhinestone cowgirl to me. Um, I think that's how I might have described it in my initial swatch video, but it's brown, which you don't see a lot. Like you don't see really um, true brown polishes very often. And this one is so gorgeous. Um, it has, I think it's got like that sort of rainbow shift where you get everything purple, green, gold, um, blue at extreme angles, plus there's hollow flakes, which everybody knows I love so much. I love this one as well. It has a really good formula. It lasts a super long time. <sighs> okay, so that's everything for 2022. Um, like I said, I could have gone on and on with more picks, but I tried to be strategic. I tried to be really thoughtful about what I chose and what I genuinely love. And yes, I was sent a lot of these as PR, but these are my honest opinions. I am super thankful to have these polishes in my collection and probably would have bought them if I saw me swatch them too. So um, I love these polishes. I'm super happy to have them in my collection and I am super curious to hear what's on your top nail polishes of 2022 list. I know probably not everybody does that, but I'm sure there's a polish that comes to mind when you think about your favorite polishes of the last year. So let me know in the comments. Let me know if any of these also made it onto your favorite list. And um, I guess I just wanna say thank you for watching my videos this year. Thank you for your beautiful comments. As always, thank you for spending time with me. And I hope you have an incredible end of your 2022 year. And hopefully 2023 will be even better. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.